it is finally time for the Q&A. This has been highly anticipated, highly um, asked for. When are you going to do it? You know, we've waited months and months, but it's finally here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the long-awaited Q&A has finally arrived in this video. It's October 1st. Why not kick off the month with the Q&A that everyone has wanted for two months now, over two months. When I announced this two months ago, over two months ago, I said, leave your questions below, and I get to it, and I finally, and we both get to it. This is going to be a long video, so I suggest to maybe get a snack, um, get a drink, uh, put some ice cubes in it, make it cold, you know, get some food, whatever you guys have to do. This should be a long video. I have a lot of questions, so let's get into it. So let's not waste any more time. Thank you guys for joining me, though. Hopefully you guys will stay tuned to the end of this video and watch the whole thing. Well, you'll get to know me more, you know? So, yeah. Okay, so, first question though comes from, well, he actually has eight questions, so we're going to get to this. So, the first question goes uh, from It's Raining Bullets channel. Question one. Um, are you a fan of John Cena? He's my favorite wrestler of all time. Yes, my good sir. I do like John Cena. He's also my favorite wrestler of all time, um, as well, because I grew up with him, and, you know, I got into wrestling in 2006, um, and yeah, so, yes, uh, yeah, I am a fan of John Cena, my favorite wrestler of all time as well, grew up with him in 2006, he's been the face ever since, for the last 10 years since I've liked wrestling, so yes, um, question two from the Training Bluff channel, this, these first eight are going to be all from his channel, so, yes. So, have you ever have you ever attended a WWE event? If so, which ones? I'm about to attend my first one in about a week. Okay, so this is two months ago as well. Don't forget. So, hey, by the way, if you're watching this, I hope you are. But if you're but if you are, um, comment in the comment section below. Tell me how that went for you, man. How did it feel on your first one? Because uh, they are very exciting to go to. I've been to like ten or twelve. I went to a lot. So, you have I ever attended? Have I ever attended an event? Yes, I have. I'll tell you, and if so, which ones? Okay, um, for the pay-per-views, I went to Raw's, I went to SmackDown's, and all that, but I'm just going to give you guys the most important ones. So I went to, um, I went to Money in the Bank 2011. Ah, uh, yes, that pay-per-view I went to. I went to Judgment Day 2009. I went to Night of Champions 2010. Um, yeah, those are three moments I went to, and, um, uh, what else, what else? Sometimes it's hard to think. Um, oh, I went to the 2014 Payback pay-per-view, where I got to see the Shield team up for the last time. Well, kind of. Um, but yeah, I got to see that. That was my last, actually event I've ever went to so far, so, I can't say exactly where I was, I know I was there with CM Punk on the Intercontinental Championship for the first time against Will and Regal, I think that was in 09, I can tell you that much, um, oh, I was at a Smackdown taping as well, um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I actually got to, uh, um, touch hands, clap hands, or whatever, I want to say, you know, when I was in the front row, actually, um, why is not the front row, I should, I was, like, in the front on the sides, you know where they enter in from, they had a steel cage match. It was Edge and Kane uh, going one on one after the match. Um, Edge, you know, I was on my hand was there. Boom, Big Show, Rey Mysterio, Kane. I was up. Yeah, it was great. The only time I was ever that close. It was, yeah, so it was great to see. And yeah, so that's really all I got to say. Um, with that, um, I'm not trying to take too much time with these questions. So yes, I think those are pretty much the big pay per views and bras I've been to. Um, Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I'm getting out crazy now here. I went to the 2011 Raw when The Rock was there in front of John Cena, Undertaker, Triple H, Shawn Michaels were all in the ring and stuff. Like, all three of those guys. I mean, The Rock and John Cena and two stuff. Yeah, it was great to see him come at Chicago and stuff. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Question three comes... Okay, so he says, Favorite movies of 2016 so far? Mine is Batman v Superman, Donna Justice, Ultimate Edition. Okay, well, thank you for telling me your favorite. My personal favorite of the year is Captain America Civil War. Yep. 
I gave it an A+. Plus. Um, I reviewed it. Great movie. I loved it. That's all I'm going to say. Thought time director, Christopher Nolan. Uh, this guy, guy that did the Dark Knight trilogy, the Batman trilogy. Um, a guy that has done a lot of great movies. I do love that this direction, how he directs movies, the way he just makes great movies. He's great. He really doesn't have that many bad movies, really. So, yeah. What do you think of New Zealand? Um. Yeah, I know. I, <laughs> I seriously don't know. I don't know my thoughts. I can't answer that. I'm being for real, bro. I'm sorry, but I, I just don't know. I can't say that. I, I don't know. I don't have thoughts on it, man. I'm sorry. I'm, I really am. Um, question six comes from the same guy. He says, do you think WWE made the wrong choice for having Dulce there face Dean Ambrose at SummerSlam for the title? I think so. Honestly. Um, no, the thing is with that, um, I'm going to say this. Dean Ambrose versus Dulce Ziggler had a good match at SummerSlam. Disappointing. Should have been way better. But it was good. Not for a paper, this was like a SmackDown typing type of level of a match. It was for the world title. Now, their build-up to it was A-plus. I thought it was fantastic. One of the best built-up uh, feuds I've ever seen, in my opinion, uh, in years. Maybe that's over it. But the mic work was great. It was on fire. It was on point. Okay? But since what they've done with Dolph Ziggler, he's been losing, right? But I feel like this is all going to come together for Dolph Ziggler. Even though there are rumors that he's going to be leaving the company and because he's taking his position... And if you guys didn't know, he's in a career versus title match with the Miz and No Mercy. So I don't know what's going to happen there, but he's going to lose. And I thought this was going to build up um, Dolph Ziggler. I thought this was going to be, uh, you know, the new era. I thought this was going to build him up as a new star, but we'll see what happens to that. But I think they made the wrong choice. Um, no, I don't. I think that was a perfect match for Dol- for Dina Wynn. And Dolph looked good in that match. And, yeah. Yeah. And last, or, well, two more questions. Marvel or DC? I honestly think they're both equally great. Um, my opinion, if I had to pick one, Marvel, I love Marvel. They have really had no bad shows or movies, honestly, when you really think about it. Just look at Daredevil, the first two seasons. Look, look, let's look at Jessica Jones, the first season. Um, let's look at Luke Cage, that just debuted. Yesterday on Netflix, these are all Netflix original series, so I watch awesome shit. The Captain America trilogy, the, um, you know, Deadpool, um, you know, all these great movies. If the event, uh, the Avengers, all that stuff, it's great. DC has had some very, um, good movies, but not great where they should have been way better. You guys know what I'm saying? They are good. I like both of them. I like all of them, really. I like both of them, but... I had to choose on Marvel. DC has had a few um, downs and a few unfortunate movies that they've made, and they have they just their potential is better. They can they have they have so much better. They can do so much better. They should be better. And yeah, it's unfortunate, but yeah. And question eight is on Batman. That's what he puts. Well, we know the true identity of Batman, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't know that. Thank you for telling me you are Batman. Now I know who is in the Batman movies and who plays Batman now. I know you are. So. Wait, is this Ben Affleck? I guess it is. Thank you, Ben Affleck, for watching my videos, and yeah. I don't know. Wow. He's also a WWE fan. Wow, thank you, Ben Affleck, the great, great actor you are, um, for watching my videos. Well, his true identity has been revealed, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah. So that's it from him. Now we go to Reckles Rich. Three questions from him. So he says, Who's your favorite wrestler currently? Right now. Whew, that's, that's a tough one, not gonna lie. Um, if I rest it right now, not gonna lie, that's a tough one. You got me there, buddy. Um, I'd have to say my favorite wrestler right now. Now, the thing is, is that I like Dean Ambrose. I like Head Notes. I like Seth Rollins. I like um, AJ Styles. I like John Cena, of course. Um, but right now, if I, Johnson doesn't count or anywhere or anyone like that, because I gotta pick like a new guy. Probably out of those four, I like Cesaro as well, I like Ziggler, but probably AJ Styles, to be honest with you. Yeah, AJ Styles, I'll go with. Question two. 
because um, he's just been putting on great matches. Hasn't had a bad match, in my opinion, since he's came to WWE. This guy is something else. Now, oh, question two. Do you have Mortal Kombat XL for PS4? Um, no, I don't. Never played it. Never have played it, so yeah. Sorry, man. Number question three. Um, who's your favorite character in Marvel? Oh, favorite character, uh, Spider-Man. Yep. I love the Spider-Man trilogy, the Sam Raimi ones, and yeah. Um, okay, next questions come from, uh, Raw is Combs. What do you think about Shelton Benjamin returning to WWE because I'm excited for that? Well, this was the first two months ago where no one knew that uh, Shelton Benjamin would be getting injured and not being able to return to WWE yet. My thoughts on it, I was excited. Can't wait to see him back on the ring, see what he can do, what they were going to bring, what he's going to bring to the table, what they had in store for him. But... We'll see what happens. I think he's going to return anyway, but I'm not sure yet. But, yeah. So. Yeah, I'm excited for him when he does come back. He was, he's great. Next question comes from a Stageman. Thoughts on brand split? See, this was two months ago. Pretty much when the brand split just started. So I couldn't really even answer this. At least, I guess I have some time to see it. Now this. I'm going to say this. My thoughts on the brand split. It has created new stars. It has had it has new titles, it has new divisions, and it's more time for these superstars to shine. Great matches, great programs, you know, exclusive pay per views, all this stuff. You know, everyone's getting a shot. Okay? Thoughts on it. It has benefited SmackDown Live on Tuesday nights. That is the A show, that is the show to watch. Raw is the B show and it's not the show to watch. It's not even the B show, it's a, probably an, a C show. To be honest with you, the first Raw delivered. Other than that, it's been pretty much crap. I've had it with Monday Night Raw. I'm still gonna watch it. I'm hoping for improvement, but yeah. SmackDown's the show. The thing is, people say, oh, it's, both, it's still the same writers, the same creative team. Well, I don't know. Why are they writing the Raw crap? I don't know. I don't even know. Thoughts on Brand Split? I kinda like it. It's good. It could be better, but I just don't know what they're doing. So that's really my thoughts on it. Is that if you're gonna watch one show, let's say you have one show to watch during the week, watch SmackDown. Even though Raw is a better roster, kind of. SmackDown with the less roster, it's two hours and yeah, Raw's three hours. But yeah. Um so second question from Stageman. Are are for or against WWE having two world titles? Well, since the brand's you need to have two world titles because you can't have the sad same title. I mean, you can have that champion, like, appear on both shows, but I just think two titles would be better because it can have two different champions and two different programs. Because it's a brand. They're supposed to be separate. They're supposed to be in competition. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I just don't... Yeah, it's, it's cool. I'm for it. Yeah. Uh, movies that you're looking forward to in 2016. Well... 2016, I mean, this was still two months ago, I know, but it was still seven months in. So I can't really say what I was looking forward to. Um, movies I'm looking forward to, I'll give you the movies I'm looking forward to. Well, for the rest of the year, I'm looking forward to Doctor Strange and Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. Uh, I'll give you even some movies that I'm looking forward to next year, 2017. I'm looking forward to Spider-Man Homecoming. I'm looking forward to um, Wonder Woman. I'm looking forward to, this is from off the top of my head, I'm looking forward to episode 8 of uh, Star Wars, Star Wars episode 8. Um, I think Justice League is coming out next year, part 1. Um, um, oh, uh, Thor Ragnarok. Um, I'm actually looking forward to the Beauty and the Beast live action movie. Um, okay, what else, what else? Uh, the new King Kong movie. Um, yeah, and a bunch of other stuff, but that's, that's just the main stuff. The things I can just say off the top of my head, man. Thanks for your question, so. Um, uh, okay, from A and B Reviews. First question, could you review Scarface the movie? Um, can I? Scarface. Yes, that was a great movie. Can I review it? 
It's a possibility, I'm not going to lie. I can. But will I? I don't think I will, man. I'm not going to, I mean, if you requested it, I might do it. It probably won't be this year, but possibly next year. Possibly it could be in the future. Yes, it, 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 could, it could happen. Um, second, uh, okay, second question goes, do you think that we will title their games to SmackDown vs. Raw again since the brand split is happening? Well, what it looks like is that I have pre-ordered WWE 2K17, which is coming out in 10 days on Tuesday, October the 11th, and it's called 2K17 still, so it doesn't look like maybe, I don't know, I don't think so. Um, I don't think it will, because I don't know how long this will last, but we'll see what happens. It's a possibility, it's possible. Okay, now that we go to the third question. Could you review the Godfather movie? Another good movie. I'm a, same question. It's possible. Could be next year. I don't know. Since you requested it, I don't know. Okay, then we got the questions from the Chase Allen. Subscribe to the Chase Allen. A great channel over there. He does a lot of great stuff. Uh, sh um, your raw, you know, he gives a raw pay per view um, reviews. He does other things. He's a great WWE channel. Um, so yeah, check him out, guys. Subscribe. Honestly, subscribe to his channel. He's he's great. So yeah. Okay. First question comes from him. He says, who's a wrestler like you like, but everyone else doesn't like? And who's a wrestler you don't like, but everyone else does like? Okay, I gotta, I gotta read that. Um, it's kind of confusing in a way, but yeah. So, hold on, let me just read that one more time. Okay, let's read this. So, who's a wrestler you like? So, wrestler I like, but everyone else doesn't like. Okay, I got you. So, I guess, okay. Um, hmm. Good questions here, guys. I like them. Okay, that's good one. Good, good, actually, good. I like it, actually. Cool. Um. Okay, hold on, guys. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's cool. Okay, wrestler. So I guess it could be woman or fe woman or uh, man, male or female. Okay, here it is. So, so someone I like, but no one else really likes. So basically, I guess a heel, I guess, or I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go with. It's kind of not gonna lie. Okay, here we go. Okay, I think. I think I actually got one. I actually found out. I actually, I'm gonna pick a woman. I'm gonna pick a, a, a woman's wrestler. I'm gonna go with uh, Eva Marie. <laughs> um, yes, Eva Marie. Just she has the look. I'm gonna say this: look. She got the true package. She has the body. She, she she has the ability. She has the charisma. Yes, she does. She does. That's all I'm gonna say. She's a future woman champion when she returns. Yes, from her. I was going to say from her suspension, but she already did. But the thing is that she's going to film a movie with Nicolas Cage. So, yes, we're going to see what happens there. But, yeah. Yeah, actually, that's a good one. I thought of it right away. Yeah. Yep. That's one for you. And a wrestler that I don't like, but everyone else does like. All that. Okay. So, I don't know. I don't know if I have one of those. So I'm not going to lie, though. I'm not going to lie. I'll look, though. Hold on. I'll think of it. Um... I want to say the New Day, but I don't know, it's because, like, I hear from the YWC, some people like them, but if I'm going to go through crowd reactions, whatever, I'll go with New Day, um, yeah, New Day, I think that's good, New Day, New Day, okay, okay, um, um, okay. What's your dream job? Great question, guys. Or Jace Allen. You might not know this, but what I actually my dream job, kind of what I want to be, when you know, do for my future. Basically, 
I want to be a WWE commentator. Um, yes, a commentator. Play like a announcer. I'll let you see Michael Cole, Byron Zaxon, and Larry Graves, JBL, Mario Ronaldo, and uh, they have a ton to do on Ron SmackDown each week. Yes, I wouldn't mind being an interviewer as well. I just want to work some type of thing like that in WWE. Um, yeah, uh, that's my dream job. And I hope I can achieve it. I think I can. I'm going to do what I have to do, put in the work to do it. So, yeah. Yep. I don't want to be a wrestler if that's what you were. If people expect me to say I want to be a wrestler. I did at one point, but not anymore. Um, but yeah. Uh, three. Thoughts on the wrestling product today? Thoughts. Thoughts. Wow, that's... Huh. Thoughts on it. Uh, shit. Okay, I shouldn't say shit. Thoughts on it would be that the Raws can be better. They don't put enough effort in it. There's no competition. Raw could be good. Smackdown, the show to watch. Paper is usually deliver. Thoughts on the overall product and the wrestling... Oh, on the wrestling product today. I'm going with WWE because... Even a wrestling product, though it's watered down, it's mediocre, it's not as popular as it used to be, and um, basically, and uh, yeah, it could be better, and yeah, thoughts on it is that it's it's good at times, but not all the time. More ups, more downs than ups. And we got like 35 freaking questions from a Mr. W Freak 2012 uh, uh, from AKA Travis. There's your shout out, man. If you want me to give him a shout out, there you go. First question goes Who is your favorite singer? Singer, singers of all time in life. Actually, I don't have one because I honestly, I'm not going to lie, I don't really listen to music that much. I'm not going to lie, I do, but I don't really have a favorite, man. I'm sorry. Okay. Question number two. Do, what do you use to film slash record your YouTube videos with? Um, my phone. Three. What is your favorite hobby besides making videos? Um, I'd say my favorite hobby, um, well, I love movies, guys, if you guys didn't know, on like TV shows and stuff like that. Um, I like collecting toys and Blu-rays and watching movies and stuff like that. I don't know if that's a hobby, like, I mean, the watching part. But, uh, yeah, I'd say collecting toys and Blu-rays. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite NBA team? The Bulls, from Chicago. Chicago Bulls. Um, have you ever met Daniel Bryan in person? If so, where and when did you... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I have never met Daniel Bryan in person. What is your favorite football team? The Bears, from Chicago, the Chicago Bears. What kind of video editing software do you use to edit your videos with? Um, nothing. What is your favorite music band of all time? Don't have one. I'm not trying to blow you up either. I'm doing some honest questions. Honest answers. Um, who, uh, what is your favorite movie and why? Favorite movie of all time? Um, the Empire Strikes Back. Star Wars, Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back, 1980. Why? Because Star Wars is fucking amazing. My favorite movie franchise of all time. Um, and that movie is one of the greatest movies of all time. It is the greatest Star Wars movie ever, too. But just cutting it a little short, because this movie never lets up. It's going throughout the whole movie, you end, you're into it, it seems like it goes by so quick. And if you haven't seen The Empire Strikes Back, you should watch it. Um... Who is your favorite WWE wrestler, or female wrestler, and why? Um, if you're talking about all time, um, I'm going to go with Trish Stratus. And if you're going with right now, I'm going to go with Sasha Banks. And Bailey, I can't decide, or Becky Lynch, I honestly can't. I'm serious, I love all three, I even like Charlotte, I like... Page, I don't know. I can't say. Not gonna lie. I can't. I can't. What 
What is your favorite NFL team? Did I just answer that? Yeah, I just said the Bears. I don't know why you, you said that twice more, but... Yeah, Chicago Bears. Um, do you like to go fishing? No, I don't. Um, who's your favorite actor or actors? Harrison Ford? Matt Damon? Um... Um, yeah. Basically those guys. Um, Jesus. oh, Samuel L. Jackson, Liam Neeson. Yeah, guys like those. Those are just a few of my favorites. Um, um, okay. Okay, what do you enjoy most about making videos for YouTube? I guess, uh, make videos for you guys. I get to entertain you if I do. I think I entertain you. I don't know. I hope I'm fun to watch. Um, basically, what I get to do is I get to give you guys my opinions on the wrestling product or even movies. At times, um, I get to just communicate through a camera. I know I'm talking through a camera to you guys, but I get to interact and have fun and give you guys talk about wrestling. Um, what is your, what would be your dream video to make? Um, wow, my dream video. Never really honestly thought about it. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, probably my dream video is to probably... Can it be like a podcast or something? Like, can I be a collab with someone if that's it? My dream video would probably be uh, somehow, some way to speak or interview or just, I don't know, speak to uh, Sean's View Entertainment, a guy who actually inspired me to make YouTube videos. So without him, I would not be here, guys. Just know that. Um, okay. What, would, uh, what is your favorite console game system, PS4? What is the worst game system you don't like? Xbox 360 or Xbox One. Um, I don't know. No, no, I'm not going to say that. I, I'm not going to say just because I don't like Xbox. Um, Wii U. Whatever, the Wii, whatever. Most embarrassing thing to happen to you? Uh, you gotta catch me out third, man. I'm telling you. Um,. Maybe when maybe my pants falling off, like when I was a little kid or something. I don't know. How long have you been a WWE wrestling fan? Since 2006, so that is 10 years. What would you do with a billion of dollars? So what I do with a billion of dollars? Um, well, first, I would make sure not to spend all of it. Uh, make sure it sets me for life. Not go bankrupt, um, or bankrupt, I should say, not go broke or whatever. Bankrupt, yeah. Uh, buy things I need, pay the bills, uh, get cool stuff, maybe. Yeah, get shit, just do, live life. Um, what would you do if you won the lottery? Same thing I just said. Oh, what would I do? Well, I'd go crazy and celebrate and get, be happy and I don't know how it would have happened to me. Have you ever been to a WWE WrestleMania live event? So, I don't know what you mean. Do you mean like a WrestleMania? Like, a, yeah. I, I have not been to a WrestleMania. I actually, I'll tell you something. I actually was almost going to go to WrestleMania 22. But then my mom didn't want to, want me to go because she didn't know how long I would be into wrestling. And that would be, she hopes I actually am not a wrestling fan because of what it is. Um, but... Yes, I didn't go yet, so I would have went to WrestleMania 22, but because it was in Chicago, Illinois, but I didn't. I was close. Have you, have you met any Daddy wrestlers? Have I actually met them? Um, I was close on a few occasions, like I was going to meet Rey Mysterio. 
Um, but no, I never did. Because once when I was in her main room stereo at like a signing and stuff, basically there's so much people in line, it's just hectic to go. And I know I've never, I've never, I never unfortunately have. I hope one day I do. Uh, do you have a Debbie Russell's autograph? Um, no. Um, what's your favorite TV show besides Debbie Russell? Wrestling is definitely not my favorite TV show anyway, because that doesn't really count as a TV show. It does, but you guys know what I mean. But I would say, oh crap, there's a lot of TV shows I love. I'm serious. You got Daredevil, Jessica Jones, I watch. These are all on Netflix. Marvel Original Series, um, Blue Cage that I've just started watching. Oh, I like The Flash, Arrow. Jeez. Uh... I'm going to go with the Flash and the Daredevil. Um, favorite YouTuber to watch? Um, good question. I like I like to watch a lot of movie reviews, guys, if you guys don't know. So, Chris Dutton, I like to watch. Jeremy Johns, The Schmoes No, The Flipping, The Flip Pick, John Flickinger, that's the second channel as well. I like to watch Willpower. Um... Yeah, Sean's the Entertainment Channel, Jerry. I was like those, but I'm about to be, I don't know. I like a lot, but I can't say a favorite. Um, but if I, I like watching those guys, it's entertaining. I like their views on stuff, and yeah, my favorite color is blue. Um, that's what he asked. What's your favorite color? So, what's your what's your thoughts on the W product? I answered that already. Um, my favorite food is pizza. My favorite, pro- my favorite program to watch on the WWE Network. Hmm. Let me check. No, I'm joking. But uh, my actual favorite, I mean, I like watching like the live page reviews and stuff. I like to rewatch the Raws and SmackDowns. Um, but if you're talking about like, an actual show like, that they have on there, um, I, I would probably say the W24s. Those are pretty interesting. Um, I like the Total Divas as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so stuff like that, and like the ride-alongs and stuff. Do you think Vince McMahon is a good owner for the WWE? No. Not anymore. I, I think he can do better, I just don't know what he's doing. What's your thoughts on Dean Ambrose being the WWE Champion? So this is two months ago. Well, my thoughts on his reign as the champion, and being the champion, is that it was good. He is solid on the mic. He can deliver a great problem he can wrestle, but the thing is, is that once he's not a comedic act, once he starts being funny, he I lose it. I just he's not that type of character. Um What's your thoughts what's your thoughts on Seth Rollins as a wrestler? Phenomenal. No. Fantastic. No pun intended at HSL, that's why. Um He's great in the ring. He he's he could be him and AJ. I don't know. Those guys are great. He didn't ask me that, I mean my it's just a wrestler. He's great. He, he can put on a good match with anyone. That's on Roman Reigns is a wrestler. Oh, he's good. He's he's great. I'll say he's great. As well in the ring, he puts on great matches as well. Favorite item in my WWE collection. Uh, I don't have a WWE collection. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't. And my his last question is, or no, that is actually that was his last question. He just said, uh, you're one of my favorite YouTubers. Keep up the good work. Thanks for ta- taking the time to answer my questions. No problem. Thanks for asking them. Those are all the questions, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. I hope I answered all of those for you guys as, w- as exactly the way you guys wanted them. Um, and yeah, I hope I entertained you guys and answered the questions and gave you everything you guys wanted in this video. It's fi- I finally did it. And it's here, and yes, the Q&A. I finally made the video. It finally, it's finally up. Um, if you guys haven't seen my review, or my rant on Raw, check it out. If you haven't seen my update video, check that out. If you haven't seen my thoughts on roofs up, check that out. And, and check out this Q&A. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, the Q&A, and the questions and the answers that I gave you guys. It's been a long video. I hope you entertained you guys. It's been a pleasure uh, delivering this video for you guys. Um,
And yeah. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Until next time, thank you for watching. Um, like this video, share this video, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. I'll be back again with another video, possibly tomorrow. Don't know. We'll see what happens. Been busy, but until next time, guys. Peace out.